When driving alongside other agents, it's important to not just plan for ourselves, but instead we have to plan for everyone jointly and optimize for the overall scene's traffic flow. In order to do this, what we do is we literally run the autopilot planner on every single relevant object in the scene. Hey, I'm Steven and this is Solving the Money Problem. If you're new, welcome. If you're not, welcome back. So in today's video, we're gonna go super deep into a very narrow aspect of what was revealed at Tesla's AI Day. There was a lot of mind-blowing information unveiled at Tesla's AI Day, giving some insights into just how far ahead Tesla are in terms of their artificial intelligence efforts. And the moment that made my jaw hit the floor like no other is what we'll be discussing in today's video. Now for the record, you won't need to know the first thing about artificial intelligence or any of the jargon to understand the message in today's video. We're keeping things very high level, we'll get some very important insight into where Tesla there is with the artificial intelligence efforts and more importantly we'll be able to easily infer what this might mean for the future and how Tesla may be able to expand the AI to other real world applications in the near medium and long term if you love crypto stocks and free stuff or just want to help out the channel check out these great offers BlockFi are launching the world's first Bitcoin rewards credit card people in the US can earn 1.5% Bitcoin back on every purchase with no annual fee using the BlockFi Bitcoin rewards credit card check out the link in the description and for a limited time, you can get up to $250 in crypto bonuses when funding a new account on BlockFi where you can use cryptocurrency to earn interest, borrow cash, and buy or sell crypto. If you want your free crypto, use the link in the description. And if you'd like up to two free stocks, check out the link in the description to Weeble. If you open a new account, you'll get one free stock valued up to $300 just for opening an account. And if you make an initial deposit of $5 or more, you'll get a second free stock valued up to $2,000. Seriously. Free stocks? Yes, please. And finally, if you're in Australia, the UK, or New Zealand, you can get a free stock with stake also linked in the description. Let's see an example of how the search operates. Um, so here, uh, we're trying to do a lane change. Uh, in this case, the car needs to do two back-to-back -back lane changes to make the left turn up ahead. For this, the car searches over uh, different maneuvers um, so in the, fir the, the first one it searches is a uh, lane change that's close by, but the uh, car brakes pretty harshly, so it's pretty uncomfortable. The next maneuver it tries does the lane change a bit late, so it speeds up, goes by in the other car, goes in front of the other cars, and finally does the lane change. But now it risks missing the left turn. We do thousands of such searches in a very short time span. Um, because these are all physics-based models, these futures are very easy to simulate, uh, and in the end, we have a set of candidates, and we finally choose one based on the optimality conditions of safety, comfort, and easily making the turn. So now the car has chosen this path, and you can see that as the car executes this trajectory, uh, it pretty much matches what we had planned. The cyan plot on the right side here, um, that one is the actual velocity of the car, and the white line underneath it is, was the plan. So we are able to plan for 10 seconds here and able to match that uh, when we see in hindsight. So this is a well-made plan. So what we saw there was an example of Tesla's artificial intelligence, keyword there, intelligence, planning a lane change. Now I want you guys and girls watching to consider, what are you doing when you're driving a car and you're planning a lane change? Your brain, even if you're not conscious of it, is going through the exact same process. Well, hang on, there's a car next to me. How do I get to the corner? I can accelerate past it, but I might miss a turn. Wait, what if I slam the brakes on? No, that's going to be too uncomfortable. Someone might run into the back of me. I don't want to do that, blah, blah, blah. What's the optimal way to make this turn? Tesla's AI is going through the same process of reasoning and planning that you, a human being, do when you are driving a car. The point that I really want to drive home here, get it, drive, because... <laughs> my life. The point is that this is real intelligence in the real world. The car is perceiving, planning, and then taking action. This isn't a party trick. This is incredible AI, incredible decision making in the real world. When driving alongside other agents, it's important to not just plan for ourselves, but instead we have to plan for everyone jointly and optimize for the overall scene's traffic flow. In order to do this, what we do is we literally run the autopilot planner on every single relevant object in the scene. This is a mic drop moment and shows how far ahead Tesla are with their AI. Until AI day, I didn't know that Tesla was using their autopilot planning software on other relevant objects in the scene. At the end of the day, you could probably argue reasonably that self-driving is truly just a ballistics problem. But Tesla is going a step beyond this, a dimension beyond this. The car is trying to understand and predict the actions of others within the scene. So Tesla's AI isn't just thinking to itself, how fast am I going? How fast is this thing going? Are we on a collision course? Am I gonna crash? Do I have enough time to break? Blah, 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 blah. Instead, it's not only considering that, but also, 
what do I think this particular agent, this object, this car, pedestrian, etc., is going to do in the future? And not just what do I think it's gonna do, but what is the probability of each different action I think this might take? This is really mind blowing stuff. So let's see this reasoning, this intelligence in action in the real world. And as we watch this, just consider how many moronic drivers have you ever encountered in your time who probably did less planning and less thinking about the potential actions of you and others in the scene than the car's doing in this example. Here's an example of why that's necessary. Um, this is an auto corridor. I'll let you watch the video for a second. Yeah, that was autopilot driving in an auto corridor, going around parked cars, cones, and poles. Uh, here, there's a 3D view of the same thing. Uh, the oncoming car arrives now. An autopilot slows down a little bit, but then realizes that we cannot yield to them because we don't have any space to our side. But the other car can yield to us instead. So instead of just blindly braking here, autopilot reasons about that car um, has low enough velocity that they can pull over and should yield to us because we cannot yield to them and assertively makes progress. So the terminology used there is really telling. Autopilot reasons and autopilot realizes. So try to put yourself in this scene and draw some parallels between your reasoning, your thinking, versus what the car is thinking, reasoning, and realizing. You're driving along, you realize, oh, hang on a minute, there isn't room for two vehicles to go past at the same time, there's an oncoming car, one of us is gonna have to get out of the way. You look to your right, you realize, oh, there's parked cars, I can't get out of the way, I can't yield, I'll have to pass through, they will have to yield to me. And unless they're completely fucking brain dead, that's what they'll do, so I'll just drive through, assuming they're not a complete and utter moron. A second oncoming car arrives now. This vehicle has higher velocity, um, and like I said earlier, we literally run the autopilot planner for the other object. So in this case, we run the planner for them. That object's plan now goes around their, par their side's parked cars, and then after they pass the parked cars, goes back to the right side of the road for them. Since we don't know what's in the mind of the driver, we actually have multiple possible futures for this car. Here, one future is shown in red, the other one is shown in green. Again, just want to reiterate, this is the same kind of reasoning that happens in your own mind when you are driving on the road. This is real intelligence. Again, it's not a party trick. This is legitimate intelligence. The idea of reasoning through multiple possible futures here is a really high level form of intelligence. Um, the green one is a plan that yields to us. But since this object's velocity and acceleration are pretty high, we don't think that this person is going to yield to us and they are actually going to go around these park cars. So autopilot decides that, okay, I have space here, uh, this person's definitely gonna come, so I'm gonna pull over. So as autopilot is pulling over, we notice that that car has chosen to yield to us based on their yaw rate and their acceleration. And autopilot immediately changes its mind and continues to make progress. This is why we need to plan for everyone because otherwise we wouldn't know that this person is gonna go around the other parked cars uh, and come back to their side. If we didn't do this, autopilot would be too timid and would not be a practical self-driving car. Let me know in the comments below if you guys and girls are following along here and really understand the implications. I mean, this is crazy stuff. Think into the future, how advanced, how sophisticated this planning, this reasoning, this multiple possible futures actually gets to. Imagine the car sees somebody, oh, it's a kid. Kids do dumb shit sometimes. I better be careful. I better be ready to slam on the brakes just in case this kid's a moron, wants to get out of the gene pool, runs in front of my car, etc. Another example, oh, that person's stumbling. They must be drunk. There's a good probability they might do something dumb too, so I better give them some extra space as well. Huh, that car that was behind me just a second ago violently accelerated next to my car and the driver gave me the double bird. I think they might be experiencing road rage. I better be extra careful. This is where things are ultimately headed. This form of understanding real world scenarios and predicting the multiple possible actions of other agents in the scene doesn't just end with driving, but can be applied much more broadly across the real world. And this would be a great time to remind you guys and girls about Tesla's bot. Just imagine when Tesla's AI continues to get smarter and evolve further, you have Tesla's humanoid robots out and about in the real world, navigating complicated urban environments and thinking to itself, hang on, what's this person gonna do? What's this thing gonna do? What's this blah, blah, blah. You guys see where this is going, right? This has really profound implications. And it's beginning to make a hell of a lot of sense as to why Tesla is going to develop a humanoid robot. Tesla's full self-driving AI is the first step in a very broad, general form of artificial intelligence that can navigate its way intelligently through the real world, not just on roads, but through the world in general by understanding and predicting the potential future actions of every other agent it interacts with. The more real world data Tesla's neural networks can train on, the more accurate and then eventually superhuman these predictions will be. 
So now we saw how the search and planning for other people set up a convex valley. Uh, finally, we do a continuous optimization to produce the final trajectory that the planner uh, needs to take. Uh, here, the gray uh, thing is the convex corridor, uh, and we initialize the spline in heading and acceleration, parameterized over the arc length of the plan. Um, and you can see that the optimization continuously makes fine-grained changes to reduce all of its costs. Some of the costs, for example, are distance from obstacles, um, traversal time, and uh, comfort. For comfort, you can see that the lateral acceleration plots on the right have nice trapezoidal shapes. Uh, it's going to come up for, yeah, here on the right side, the green plot. Um, that's a nice trapezoidal shape. And if you record a human trajectory, this is pretty much how it would look like. Uh, the lateral jerk is also minimized. So in summary, we do a search for both us and everyone else in the scene. Uh, we set up a convex corridor and then optimize for a smooth path. Together, these can do some really neat things like um, shown above. So I just want to break down exactly what's going on in this scene in a little bit more detail so it's super clear for you guys and girls. And as I'm doing this, just remember, this is the same kind of process of reasoning that's going on in your own brain when you are navigating a similar situation, whether you're conscious of it or not. So what we're looking at here in gray, this, this so-called convex corridor, is the areas in which the vehicle could be and theoretically get to its destination. So there's a few different areas. It could be over here and here, but it ultimately needs to get into this narrow corridor, follow its way around the corner. And now we can see the vehicle trying to figure out its path through this corridor. And we can see over on the left here, total cost, the lower the cost, the better. And this is combining things like traversal time, how long is it gonna take, collision risk, which obviously you wanna be as low as possible, lateral acceleration, as well as lateral jerk. These are things relating to comfort of the actual passengers of the vehicle. So what Tesla AI is doing at this point in time is looking through this convex corridor and thinking, okay, what are the possible paths I could take? How is that gonna affect the traversal time, the collision risk, how much jerking around the passengers experience as well? And it's trying to optimize for total cost. So we can see over time, after around 80 iterations of potential paths to take, we have a fairly low traversal time that doesn't seem to be getting any lower, a very low cost overall, practically zero collision risk, but not perfect. And we don't have too much lateral acceleration or lateral jerk. And now we've run through 100 iterations of potential scenarios. The car's selected the optimal path, and now it's following that path. And whether you realize it or not, this is exactly the same process that happens in your own brain when you're driving. Unless, of course, you're an incredibly bad driver, in which case, get the f*** off the road. This was the moment in Tesla's AI Day presentation where my mind completely melted. I just had no idea how sophisticated and how advanced Tesla's real-world AI was. I'm unaware of any other applications of artificial intelligence in the real world that are even close to where Tesla Vision is today. And in solving full self-driving, Tesla will have done most of the heavy lifting and built the foundation for solving the most important artificial intelligence challenge of our time. Vision, and more importantly, perception, planning, and taking suitable action. This applies far more broadly than just full self-driving vehicles. And this is ultimately why Tesla have announced that they're going to be developing a humanoid robot. So guys, I need to admit something. I was wrong. For about two years on this channel, since day one, I've been saying, claiming, obnoxiously so, that Tesla's lead in full self-driving was unassailable. I was wrong. Tesla's lead in real world AI is unassailable. The implications of this are astounding and worth many, 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 many trillions of dollars. I'm not fucking around. So I just wanted to let you guys and girls know now so that in a few decades time when Tesla's market capitalization is worth many tens of trillions of dollars, predominantly on the back of their incredible artificial intelligence capabilities, I can say, I told you so. So while most of Wall Street's stock analysts still think it's just about cars and most smart retail investors believe that it's about energy and software revenue, I'm here to tell you guys and girls today, the Tesla story now is all about AI. And I'm not just talking about the narrow application of autonomy. This is why Tesla held their AI day, to recruit the world's best AI talent to make this vision a reality. This is also why Tesla has invested who knows how much time, energy, and capital into developing their own chip to train their neural networks, aka make their AI better. And on that note, this is the last opportunity to pick up a Tesla Dojo chip merch design. There's a link in the description, shirts, mugs, and hoodies available. Limited time only, it'll be disappearing from the store in the next few days. So if you haven't ordered one and you want one, now is the time. And a sincere thank you to everybody who's picked up some of this merch. Over 800 units sold. What the actual f So to sum this one up, Tesla AI Day, well, the name says it all. 
Tesla's AI day wasn't really about full self-driving and autonomous cars, although that's cool. Tesla's AI day wasn't about dojo chips and training neural networks, although this is fundamental and required. It was really about Tesla AI in the most general sense. Now, to be honest, I think it's gonna take Wall Street years, maybe half a decade, maybe a decade or so before they really start to understand the implications of Tesla's AI day and how critically important Tesla's lead in real world AI actually is. So consider this video an early heads up. And just finally, let me know in the comments below, how would you best describe Tesla? What do they do? What are they? Let me know in the comments below. I'm Stephen Mark Ryan. This is Solving the Money Problem, and I love you all. And don't forget the BlockFi Bitcoin Rewards credit card, where you can earn 1.5% Bitcoin back on every purchase. There's a link in the description. You can also earn up to $250 in crypto bonuses when funding a new account on BlockFi, also linked below. And finally, don't forget your free stocks with Weeble and Stake, also linked in the description. These great offers also help out the channel. Thanks so much for watching. Let me know your thoughts in the comments below. And of course, if you have any ideas for future videos, let me know i read all your comments p.s if you're still watching you're awesome if you'd like early access exclusive videos regular q a's our private discord server and more consider supporting the channel at patreon.com solving the money problem so i can keep creating content for you guys there's a link in the description you can now also become a member of the channel for some exclusive perks to learn more click the join button next to subscribe and don't forget to check out our merch store either way the best form of support is you being here and watching so thanks again